Hello, welcome back to the channel, and we'll be talking about the uh, week one recap, a little bit of Michigan in there, and then we'll get to uh, my reactionary polls and my current playoff predictions for uh, this upcoming week and what we had here. We can start on Thursday. We had the uh, Florida-Utah game. Florida looked all over the place. They couldn't run the ball. Offensive line was bad. Special teams are bad. Utah just kind of manhandled them the whole game. I mean, it, at one point it was, what, 24-3? to three? Graham Mertz threw for 333 yards. It wasn't really his fault. But if you're making Graham Mertz throw the ball that much, you're in deep trouble. Uh, we'll do the Michigan game last. I'll break into that one then. Virginia-Tennessee. Obviously, I was at this game. You saw with the vlog on Monday. Um, I, I thought Joe Milton was okay. Uh, the run game for Tennessee was awesome. Uh, they, they were really good um, in terms of that. As for everything else, I mean, the special teams wasn't great. The defense is really good. Um, the pass rush got home a ton. I don't even know how many sacks they got, but it was a lot. I was very impressed with the run game and the defense again. But the passing game is a little bit of work on. Uh, I think Joe Milton's okay. His arm strength can be used in different ways that you did to what Hennon Hooker was doing. I think you can get come quicker outs, faster to the sidelines, things like that. But overall, pretty good performance from Tennessee. And I'm um, interested to see how they go going forward. I think they uh, moved up a little bit my poll, obviously. But a lot of people will, as you'll see when I release it. Uh, UT Martin in Georgia. Um, we've got the Georgia. I mean, they took care of business. Not much to talk about here. Middle Tennessee State also uh, got smoked by Alabama. Jalen Miller looks really good. 200 yards passing, three touchdowns, and uh, 50 yards rushing and two touchdowns. He had five touchdowns on the day. Very good stuff for him. Um, Ohio State, Indiana. Ohio State looked rough. I mean, let's just be honest. Um, it is week one, and I'm sure they'll bounce back and have no problem in week two. Um, their fans are having absolute meltdowns and, and mental breakdowns on the timeline about McCord not being good. And uh, the guy that they believe is better in Devin Brown playing two two series, um, one in the middle of the game where he handed it off three times or two, two times and ran it once. And then the second time he just threw it and had like a negative yard. He finished with negative yards in the year. So hate to see that. Um, USC cruised over Nevada, 66-14. Washington looked unbelievable. Michael Penix, my Heisman pick, 450 yards and five touchdowns. That's what I like to see. That's a great start to the year. That's stuff you like to see. Uh, Boise State, yeah, they played them. Not very good. 56-19. Uh, supposed to be a closer game, but Washington rolled. Rice, Texas, 37-10. to uh, Rice, you know, scored right at the end to make it more reasonable, but it was 37-3 for the majority of the game there at the end. Quinn Ewers, 260 and three touchdowns. Pretty good stuff. Uh, Penn State looked very good against West Virginia. Drew Aller looked, you know, the, the guy that we were talked up and hyped up. They kind of did a similar thing to Michigan where they threw the ball a ton, didn't really run it because, you know, West Virginia's trenches are – Pretty good. Um, but, yeah, Drew Aller, 325 and three touchdowns. I mean, their fans are going crazy, acting like he's the second coming of Christ. And if you had that bad quarterback for that long, I'd do the same thing. We're kind of doing with JJ, but to an extent. Uh, Notre Dame, another win. They're 2-0 now, along with USC. Uh, they beat Tennessee State 56-3. to Pretty comfortable. Not much to do there. Uh, Oregon took out their demons of last season, playing Portland State 81-7. to uh, That was unbelievable. Bo Nix, 300 yards, three touchdowns. Bucky Irving, 119 yards, two touchdowns. Uh, Troy Franklin, uh, 106 yards and two touchdowns. My uh, Blitnikoff Award winner uh, prediction. That's good. Kansas State shut out uh, Southeast Missouri, 45 nothing. Buffalo and Wisconsin had a good battle. Wisconsin, 38 to 17. Uh, Oklahoma, 37, uh, 73 to zero. Another one taking the demons out from last year. Old Miss rolled. Texas A&M rolled. Uh, Iowa looked pretty good. Um, Cade McNamara did his thing. Uh, hung in there against Utah State, 24-14. Uh, Tulane looked very good against a uh, South Alabama team that got a lot of love against the spread and uh, being upset. Uh, Pratt with 300 yards and four touchdowns. Tulane just kind of dominated. Um, you know, didn't have a ton of, ton of plays. Uh, South Alabama had the ball a lot, but Tulane did their thing, got the job done. Then we had the Battle of the Carolinas. North Carolina absolutely dominated South Carolina. Center Rattler had a ton of pass yards, but didn't matter. Uh, British Brooks... A really good guy. I, wanna, I would want you guys to invest in in uh, fantasy and uh, betting on player props. He's going to be a problem this year. He was running the ball a lot. Uh, when you think of the offense, you think of Drake May, but he's a good running back that they needed. Has him catch it out of the backfield as well. 31-17 final score. Uh, nine sacks for North Carolina. Huge upgrade there. So if their defense can show up like that, they're going to be a huge problem this year, especially with Clemson doing what they did. Um, final game of Saturday, the story of the weekend. Colorado upsets TCU. Uh, 45 to 42. Shadur Sanders, 510 yards and four touchdowns. Uh, 
Dylan Edwards with five receptions or 135 yards and three touchdowns along with some rushing yards there. Uh, TCU's got a really good ground attack, but losing to a team like Colorado is going to be tough, which will be a conference game next year. But, yeah, Shadur was all over the place. Uh, literally all over the place was Jordan Travis. Um, was Travis Hunter played both ways, had uh, a pick in a, you know, played some deep, good offense, had a touchdown as well, and some pretty highlight catches. Four receivers over 100 yards. Crazy, crazy stuff. Um, moving on to Sunday, um, Northwestern's very bad. Sorry for giving that pick out. Very bad. Uh, Oregon State looked really good. They did their thing against uh, San Jose State. DJ Ungalele looked really good, and uh, which is funny considering what Clemson did again. I'm foreshadowing them once again. Uh, LSU was all over the place. Florida State took advantage. Keon Coleman went mental. Three touchdowns for the ex-Michigan State man. Jaden Daniels looked okay. Good rusher. Had problems with the deep ball. Uh, Jordan Travis looked like a Heisman level quarterback. Uh, and uh, if they keep that play up, Florida State's going to be really good this season. Uh, they are in my playoff. Spoiler alert right now. And then last night, my guys, Clemson. I, I spent all week, all year, all offseason talking about how good Clemson's going to be and they're going to do all this stuff. I was very wrong. I'm going to oh, God, my shoulder. I, I hurt my shoulder. Apologizing right there. Um, Put my hand up to be first like, yep. I'm sorry. It's me. So, um, 28 to seven final score there. Duke takes care of business against Clemson. So that, that's all she wrote really. Now, uh, looking at Michigan more specifically, cause I got the polo on and we're, we're going to do the little breakdown. JJ McCarthy is him. I think he could definitely make a lot of noise this season in terms of the Heisman race, things like that. If they continue to do this way. Now, do I think that they're going to do that? They're going to let him win the Heisman with the way we played the game. no, uh, Corn with 10 carries, Donovan with 12, under what they usually are. J.J. McCarthy threw the ball 30 times, 280 yards, three touchdowns. Roman Wilson had six catches, 78 yards, three touchdowns. He did his thing as well. It was not a very balanced offense, which is expected from Michigan, but it was the opposite way. It was very pass-heavy, which is pretty cool. Now, it ended up being 31 rush attempts and 31 pass attempts, but when you're a team like Michigan and you're up as much as you were, you know, 30 to nothing for a majority of the game, um, or the second half, excuse me, you know, you'd kind of lean in the run, but they didn't as much. They're just trying to, you know, see what JJ could do with the passing. And he looked very good and he's not getting the love that Drew Aller is. Do I really care? No. Um, does it matter? No. Are we going to find out down the line eventually? Yeah. I mean, that's why I don't think Michigan fans should be freaking out as much as they are. But when you really look at it, um, the Michigan and Penn State run the Big Ten. Big Ten runs through them. As I said on Center FS the other day on Barstool, check out the clip. And, uh, yeah, that's pretty much what I have for Michigan, so we'll end there. Um, and, and now we will talk about the BS Week 1 poll. I'm going to do Week 1 because it's, I don't know, should it be Week 2? I'm trying to think. I'm technically looking here. Um, no, yeah, Week 1. So you post Week 1. So it'd be the post the week that we do it is what we're going to call it. Get out of the graphic up here. We've got Georgia 1, Michigan 2, Florida State 3, Alabama 4, Penn State 5, Washington 6, USC 7, Texas 8, Notre Dame 9, Colorado 10. And the rest you can see on the screen. I know I have Vanderbilt in there at, at uh, 24. I think it's funny on the graphic to have them on there for the SEC. And I can you know say the media has SEC bias when it's really myself, which is I think is you know, a funny joke by me. Um, and then the playoff graphic right here pretty much the same as you can see here uh we've got georgia alabama facing off right now obviously that won't happen in real life and then florida state michigan which would be an all-time rose bowl really get you back in the day um fifth penn state sixth washington very high in washington they showed me a ton i can say very good opponent in boise state one of the best group of five opponents out there so um that's pretty much what i have for now let me know what your takeaways from week one were um i'm i would say quickly colorado's legit but how legit is tcu Right, you know, I think that we can pump the brakes there. Kind of same can be said with Florida State. Uh, I'm not super high on Florida State. I know obviously I have in the playoff right now, but just because they're in the playoff doesn't mean you think that they're that good of a team. That might seem really stupid, but we're very early in the year. I mean, we had Michigan State was a top ten ranked team last year at one point, right? Even with AM, I think AM was ranked like what fourth or fifth. Um, we got some big games coming up this week, um, and a lot of NFL coverage will be also on the channel with the. Uh, Lions playing on Thursday. Um, I'll have a Lions preview out tomorrow. Um, Thursday will probably be a picking games for the weekend. And then Friday will be a recap of the Lions game. And then I might do two videos Friday night and then a prediction for the NFL. Or I'll probably do that Saturday. We'll figure it out. But um, yeah, 
we'll we'll figure out the the rhythm of things once we get going forward. But um, that's what I have all for now. Um, please like and subscribe. See you guys next time. Peace. <laughs>